Hey guys, how you doing? Ron's a nut here. Well, I have a uh, laptop. This is an Acer Aspire 5738 that has a bad uh, backlight in the LCD display. And so what I'm going to do is show you how actually pretty straightforward and easy it is to replace um, a, uh, the, uh, the, the LCD and, uh, screen. I received a uh, replacement display. Uh, very reasonably priced from uh, LaptopScreens.com and I'm going to uh, show you now how to, uh, how to take it apart and um, put it together. The first thing you want to do is remove power from it. I have uh, the battery packs been removed and there's no power connected to All it. Alright, so we're safe now and what we're going to do next is um, I'll zoom you in on some of these here but we've got to remove these four, on the four corners there are little um, uh, finishing stickers, they're little uh, round uh, bumps um, that you see and behind them are the screws that you're going to need to do to first remove the the plastic bezel on, on the uh, screen here. So I'm going to zoom in really close and show you what it looks like, see if you can, if I can get it there. Alright, so I use a flathead screwdriver little jeweler screwdriver and you just pry behind and eat behind it. It might be hard at first but once you get it off it's a little sticky and let's see if I can show you what it looks like. Okay so that's what it looks like. Looks like almost like a little tiny beetle bug. Alright and I recommend highly that you get yourself a little uh, tray. I happen to have a magnetic tray um, but any kind of tray to put your screws in that you're going to take out and the little rubber thing so um, a little sticky so what I'm going to do now is take off the other four corners of the laptop display and uh, so that we can then get access to the screws that are there so I'm just going to pry them off okay so they're all, four of them are out. Now, the other, uh, I have a Phillips head um, jeweler screwdriver. And I'm going to take out the, uh, the screws. Now once you have the, uh, the screws out, you'll need to pry that uh, the plastic bezel and, I, and you need to pry it out carefully so you don't break the little clip so when they'll snap in and you'll have a nice finish again um, once you put it back together. And so to do that a flathead screwdriver is best and you get in between here once you get started you can just start snapping and unsnapping and you'll hear them come out. You just unsnap the display front bezel and the bottom ones here should just pop up, come up and out. You may have to push the screen back a little bit. Alright, there you go. So we have the bezel out, so put that aside. And now on this uh, laptop there's a little connector up here. Pull that out. Now you can, it's got a little uh, nips on either end with a screwdriver or if you can grab it nice and snugly with your fingernail and you just pull it right out. So I've got it disconnected. Alright, so that's, and uh, so the two screws that we took out of the top here, the two screws that we took out at the top have uh, got the display off the clamshell and then you're also going to find uh, at the bottom here there are um, two screws on either uh, at the hinges two on either side so um, this one has already had one of the screws removed but there are two in this particular model and what replacing this screen is very similar pretty much on most any laptop uh, display screen it just depends on the 
the screen and where the connections are. So what I'm doing here right now is just taking out the screws that attach the uh, the the hinge for the display screen to the uh, clamshell the back. And so now once I do that, I don't know if you, you'll see that the uh, back of the clamshell falls away. I'm trying to get the screws out. There we go. So we have now the uh, clamshell separated from the display. And then in order to replace the display, let's see, you can take a look in the back here. In this particular model, this has a uh, cathode uh, tube in it. The, uh, and the wires that come out and they plug in to, this is the inverter board so, right here uh, now. So anyway, so we have the, uh, the screen shown here. Um, in order to, uh, there's two things you can do. You can, we got, we got to remove the screen, but I want to undo the connections first. So I'm going to, um, uh, this one has a little a screw right here where the inverter board is. And now this is where you're touching power, so that's why it's important to disconnect the uh, power from your display. And then the cable that's actually connecting is coming from the uh, motherboard to the backlight cathode is this one right here. And then, then you also have this connector on the back to the display. Now this has a, uh, a sticky with it so that the cable will attach back to your display. So I'm going to pull that down as carefully as I can. Okay, and then actually the connector came right out. So, um, so it's important to try to reserve that so that the cable doesn't come out when you replace it. And you also have here, this is the uh, camera. So this is also stuck to the back of the display. So they had some adhesive on it, and then down here, same thing. So now I have the cables disconnected from the display. The next thing you want to do to remove the display is remove the screws from the side of the, uh, from this frame that holds the display in place. And this one, there's one, two, three, four screws, four on either side. Um, these three of them have already been removed, but there are four in a new display. The side of the display. The other three have been removed. And again, save your screws. They're very tiny. And then this one, same thing. The three down here have already been removed. I'm taking off the, uh, the last one. Okay, now with the uh, frame, once you remove the last your... screw, hold on to the display because there's really nothing keeping it in there. So. This is the uh, the bad display. So we're going to take that and put that aside. And we're going to get our brand new display from LaptopScreens.com. Package it very nicely and protect it in a foam bag. And uh, here you can see this is the new one. And here is the, and, old one. Uh, the um, online tool actually is all I needed to be able to get the right display. So you plug in your model number and then they also have pictures to show you the back of the unit. This is the one that um, was in it and the key is that cathode tube power cable at the bottom and then this connection right here. And then the replacement one that I received is the exact same thing. as the uh, cathode power connector there and the data connection here. So, uh, first things I'm going to do is, this has a protective screen on it, I'm just going to fold away the, the tape so that I can easily remove it. Um, and right now I'm going to do re in reverse, I'm going to put the screws back in into this new display and do the reverse basically, but I am going to test it before I put it all together, which I would recommend you do. So, um, here I have the screw.
And again, these are very small screws. Okay. And before I secure all the rest, I'm going to um, got the cables in here. Now I've got to put the connections back. So we have this um, connection. This is the uh, the data the signal connection to the uh, to the display. There we go. Slide it up nice and snug inside the connection, and then tape it up. So basically you should have the bottom part of the connector and touching the metal here to the metal on of the connector. And then using this tape or if you need to use other tape to secure it out. And this is the camera cable which we don't need right now. But we will have ready to be connected. And then down here was where they had... Alright, now I'm going to connect up the... Uh, cathode tube power cable okay okay before uh, I go any further I'm gonna I've got the power connected up the only thing I don't have connected is the um, camera so uh, I'm going to uh, bring power to it and then see if before I I'd see if I did the job right so I've got power connected to it I didn't put the battery pack in I just I put the power button and we have a display so uh, that's what we had we had a bad um, display and laptopscreens.com provided a nice beautiful replacement screen and uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, put the uh, rest of the screws back in the uh, in the unit so that uh, so that we can uh, seal it and close it back up and uh, have this laptop just as good as new okay now that we are sure that the display works now it's the time to put the uh, clamshell uh, and secure the uh, display to the uh, back of the uh, back of the laptop uh, display clamshell. The first thing we're going to do is connect up the uh, the cam, and that is just uh, sliding the little connector back in. Feel it snap in there. All right, now uh, we have just the reverse. We're going to put the screws in at the bottom here. Okay. Now it's time to put the bezel back on. So I'm going to do is snap it down, and if there's any the little clips, you can snap them in, so that'll keep it in place. You'll hear it. I don't know if you heard them snapping in. All right. So now that'll hold it in place. Now what you're going to do is put the four screws in the uh, four corners. Oh, and then those little sticky that cover up the screws, you put those back in. If they don't have any adhesive, you can put a little bit of um, um, silicone. You don't want to use, you know, super glue because uh, in case it ever has to be serviced again, it would be very difficult. Somebody's going to have to dig these out. So uh, they have a little bit of uh, um, silicone glue. That'll uh, do it. All right. All right. So now I'm going to put the um, battery pack in. And I'm also going to power in so I can charge it up. Now, that's another final check and we have beautiful crystal clear display thanks to the folks at laptopscreens.com uh, we now have a working Acer Aspire laptop thanks for watching 
any questions, comment, and if you uh, are so inclined, please subscribe. That's it from Ron's and Nut.